What really is the best choke tube constriction for hunting ducks with steel shot? Well, I'm tired of theories. Today, we're gonna find out. Hey, George back with the new hunter's guide and today we have not a viewer requested video but a me requested video that's right i am tired of hearing about the best choke tube constriction for steel and some people think it's modified some people think it's improved modified some people think it's full i want to know for sure i want to see some test data so that's what we're going to do today now if there is a particular video something you guys want to see tested please leave that in the comments down below but today we're going to find out what choke tube constriction works best for shooting some of this. I've got heavy steel, number four shot, 1500 feet per second, one and a quarter ounce load. Why this particular shot? I consider this to be one of the more premium grade steel shots that's on the market, but it's not a plated shot. So what we do with this shot, the results should be pretty much transferable to just about any regular steel shot that you have. Plated steel may perform a little bit differently. You probably need to test every different load but unplated shot should perform relatively consistently across the spectrum and to do this test I've got choke tubes and I've got more choke tubes we're gonna run them through some Carlson sporting clays extended ported choke tubes and I'm gonna run it through the full spectrum we're gonna pattern test at 40 yards we're gonna go through modified improved modified full and extra full to see which one gives us the best pattern and if and where pattern degradation starts to happen a lot of people People say if you use a full choke tube on steel, you're going to get worse patterns than you do a modified. Well, I want to know for sure, and I want to see how much choke you really can use. So we're going to run all of this through the Mossberg 940 Pro Waterfowl that's 28-inch barrel and see what we can see. All right, let's head down to the range. So we are down at the range. I've got the modified choke tube in. I've got eye protection. I've got the Tetras in for ear protection. Now, sometimes people ask me, they say, George, do you really need to wear eye protection when you're shooting these tests? Guys, the only people that say things like that are people that have not been attacked by YouTube trolls. They are out there, and if you don't wear eye protection in these videos, they will come for you. But in all seriousness, sometimes when you're at the range, you're shooting into the wind, and that can blow powder back in your eyes, and there's no reason to be less safe than you can be. All right, we're going to go ahead. We got our first round of the heavy shot steel, and let's do it. All right, we're going to go ahead and change choke tubes, and we'll go with the next one. Now for the improve modified. All right, we're going to change paper and choke tubes. Up next, we've got the full choke. And one to go. And last but not least, we've got the extra full. Now guys, yes, I have checked into the safety just to make sure I've contacted the company that makes the chokes. I've made sure I read the documentation. This choke is good up to BB shot with steel, so we should have no problem at all with number fours. It's also worth noting that different shot size may interact with chokes differently. Number twos may be different than number fours, number ones and number fives and everything else may interact differently. So we're just testing number fours today and let's take our last shot. All right, guys, we're going to go see how we did. But first, I need to let you know nobody is sponsoring this video. Heavy Shot is not a sponsor. Everything here is coming out of my pocket. I bought these shells with my own money. But I would really appreciate it if you guys would support the channel by hitting the thumbs up button every time you click the like button. It helps these videos reach more people. And if you like tests like this and kicking the tires on assumptions, why don't you also go ahead and click that subscribe button? All right, let's see what these patterns look like. I've got every one of these targets laid out here. We're gonna take a quick glance at them. I am gonna do the math on each and every one, but let's glance at them quickly first. But I need to mention, guys, a lot of things can affect patterns. Of course, different guns, different choke tubes, different brands, different lengths, humidity, temperature, barometric pressure, wind, sky's the limit. It's kind of like even the tide could do it sometimes, it seems. But let's take a look at these and see what we can learn from them. First, we've got the modified. And that is not a bad pattern at all. 
Next, we have the improved modified. Also, definitely a dead duck. Next, we have the full. That'll definitely do the job. And then we have the extra full. I'd say that duck is pretty dead. Now, quick takeaways here, guys. I don't think any one of these chokes was gonna make a huge difference. Every one of these ducks was dead. If you had taken the wrong choke out or you weren't sure which one to use, you were still gonna kill that duck. Let's crunch the math and let's see what the results really look like. So I don't know how you guys feel after you count 600 pellets on paper, but I am ready to take a nap. But the data here, guys, this is pretty cool. I'm just gonna go ahead and call it right now, myth busted. Take a look at this chart. So what you can see, the modified came in, great pattern, 75% density, 180 pellets on the paper, really good. The improved modified did what everybody said it was gonna do. It really did follow the stereotype, drop down, we lost 10% of our pattern density, only 155 pellets on the paper. The full similar zone came out 68%, 162 pellets on the paper. But guys, look at what happened with the extra full. Bam, 191 pellets, 80% pattern density, unbelievable. So guys, I think this makes the case pretty clear that it is a myth. The tighter you choke steel, the worse it performs. And now there's certainly situations where that is and may be true. So what you need to do, the bottom line, the big takeaway, the learning from this thing here is you guys need to pattern test every shot you plan to hunt with, with every choke you plan to use. If you're gonna use number four, test it with all your chokes. If you're gonna use number two or number three or number one, test it with all of your chokes. You may get worse patterns. I would not use the improved modified choke here with this steel, but the full choke, unbelievable. Although guys, I'll tell you one thing that the modified for me, I think is pretty much the perfect pattern for most ranges that steel is gonna be effective at. You get that pattern too tight using a full choke, it's gonna tear birds to shreds at close range, you might even miss. And then at long range, steel really loses too much power to be effective much out beyond 40 yards. So you may have the pattern, but I don't think you'll have the power to punch out much further with it. So modified may still be the best choke to use, at least out of these four, but in terms of will tighter chokes make steel perform worse? Sometimes, but definitely not always. Sometimes they'll make them perform better. So what do you guys need to do next? Next, you need to click on this video right here, watch some ballistics gel and pattern testing with steel to get additional insights. Guys, till next time, I really appreciate you. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you and go get them in the woods.